Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this video, we're going to be making some of the uh, changes that are made in version 20W12A. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So in 20W12A, we basically began the rewriting process, and that first off started by including Stardust Engine into our project, cleaning up a lot of the old libraries, and then basically making uh, a few adjustments here and there, so that a few of the systems are now starting to use Stardust Engine. Stardust Engine does not currently have a fully fledged sort of renderer for sprites and things like that, which is a lot of the reason that it hasn't been a full switch yet, as a lot of those features will be written over the weekend and starting next Tuesday as well. So therefore that means that basically right now we're only doing some of the rendering and stuff on uh, basically all of the old engine, but a lot more stuff is going to be happening on the new engine. That being said, a lot of code could really be refactored and really could be worked upon on this first starting a uh, few days with the Stardust engine for Minecraft PSP. And that's actually going to be pretty much what we're going to be doing is moving a lot of things over. Everything should remain and look the same alongside have the same functionality, but it should basically be faster or it should be more optimized or better in the code. Given what's going on, basically I'm going to be redoing some of the uh, menus and stuff like that using the new UI system from Stardust, uh, which is going to allow me to basically make it UIs that are really quick, efficient, and uh, basically event-based and asynchronous. This means that basically the entire menu and everything in that entire driven system isn't actually going to really have that much of a sort of code impact. It's going to be a lot nicer than having it the way it currently is, which is broken apart into a bunch of different files for every single one. Cumulatively, it's probably somewhere around like four or five thousand lines for just the main menu, which is a little bit of a big stretch and really couldn't use some of this work. So as that starts to come in, we're also going to be starting to do the things with the platform. Source Engine Platform class basically initializes the entire API, um, meaning that basically everything is going to be included with that, which is the reason why I haven't switched over the graphics system yet, because the graphics system uh, reserves some of its uh, memory, which could not be really done if it was uh, on Stardust and we have the main one, because those two would be competing for resources and that wouldn't really be fair and would basically have performance because they are not being able to access the same things. This means that basically over the weekend, once all of the graphic systems start moving over and we have sprites, 2D, things like that, it's going to be a lot easier for us to move everything over as we can basically section off the 3D portions for now and move and go ahead and redo parts of the 2D sections in order to basically use Stardust Engine and to be a lot more streamlined and efficient. In this way, by later in the week, next week, we're going to be basically just looking at doing some things like chunk generation and stuff like that. And basically the way that we're going to have to do chunk generation is going to be relatively simple and it's not going to be too hard of a task to do. Once we do go ahead and get into chunk generation and things like that, we're also going to be able to use uh, Stardust's profiler system in order to be able to look at explicitly what functions are taking up the amount of time and what's using the most time. So we can basically target and optimize the things that take up the most time. That way it's a lot more efficient and we can tell what's really taking up all of the frame time. I'm going to be updating Stardust Engine rapidly over the next few days in order to get uh, it basically up to speed. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.